can we really call this victory from the military because once they do good thing i think one needs to appreciate them or and encourage them but i don't know what you think about it but let's hear what the whole thing is all about abubakar shikawu is the leader of boko group in nigeria who have been dealing uh, with the northeastern parts of the country for the past 11 years the group are characterized with ruthless attacks on innocent people via suicide bombing, adoption and victims and sporadic shootings. It was reported that the group have killed thousands of people and displaced millions since 2009. However, one of the group's leader, wives, was allegedly killed in an airstrike by the men of the Nigerian Air Force in 2007. According to some reports, it happened when a large number of Boko fighters gathered at the Duwawa settlement near Hoga in the Konduga area of Bono State hold a coordinated meeting. Shikau's wife was identified only as Malam Fidasi, was allegedly representing her husband in the meeting when the NAF struck from the air and many of the victories died including Fidasi. A coordinated attacks from the man from the men of the Nigeria Armed Forces have killed many of the insurgents over the years, but they are not yet showing any sign of slowing down at the moment. The military in Nigeria and Chad have recorded good victories against the group only this year, but the group are still trying hard to fight back at least in the little of their ability. Abubakar Shikawu is now considered a global terrorists and recently the United States allegedly offered an up to seven million dollar reward for information that will bring him to justice. Boko Haram is also considered one of the most deadliest terrorist groups in the world and they usually launch most of their deadly operations in Nigeria. Hmm. So if a uh, the wife could be could be tampered with or could be touched or could be taken away then what stops them from Chicago? Because several times we've heard from the we've heard from the police or the, from the military that they've they've taken this man down several times. After they will come out and say, "Oh, we have taken this man down. We have done this. We have done that." All of a sudden, again, the man will resurface. They will come back again. They say, "Oh, they've taken him down." I think they have they've taken him down. You know, like who always say they they've deleted him. You know, when you see delete deleted, you know, taking his life away. Almost three times or four times they have said so. So, but recently they've not been coming out to say, "Oh, we have taken him down. We have taken him down," because it's always resurfacing whether they are mistaking him for somebody. <laughs> I remember uh, Professor Sagi uh, statements concerning Shomole that maybe Shomole mistook him for somebody else. So maybe they are mistaking this uh, Shikau, uh, we know for another person or with another person. So because after each time they will come out, oh. There will be victory. Everybody will be happy. Yes. Yeah, so this guy that has been coordinating, this is group, you know, has been taken down. Maybe that will now deter the the members. But all of a sudden, the man will surface again. But now that for a very long time they've not said it, and the man is still operating. He's always coming out to say this. He's always coming out to to bring videos or make speeches just for the people to know that they. Nigeria army or the army themselves, they are not saying the truth, whether they are mistaking him for somebody else. But if it is easy for him, for them to get a, the wife, then why is it so difficult for them to get him? Or does it mean he has a, some diabolical means that he uses in escaping because they are always getting down most of their leaders, but he is never, he's never touched. So what is the case behind that? But one thing I just believe is that we we'll continue to pray for the soldiers so that they will get victory at last that is only if and if they are genuine with all these things because if everybody's just tired everybody's just confused as at the way and the manner that the army itself carry out these uh, operations and their doings it's now difficult for few people to believe that nobody believes them because people are now feeling that there's this synergy between the Nigerian army and these Ebuko people. I mean the leadership of the Nigerian army. So it is always difficult, but our prayer is that if they are fighting this cause genuinely, God should grant them uh, grace to be able to 
to, to conquer these people for the past 11 years. You can imagine for the past 11 years, this thing has been on and some people are smiling to the banks. And the worst part of it, the reason why people are not even bothered, the, the, the president that came on the mantra of change or mantra of doing the right thing, as far as a military is concerned, as far as a security is concerned, because uh, people believe that that is a his area of specialty. And yet nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Change the service chief. He says he's not going to change the service chief that is going to continue like that. So what do you expect people to say? How, what do you expect people to believe and to, 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 to sum it up? They will tell you they are releasing millions, uh, thousands, uh, hundreds of uh, these uh, people who have, who, are, who have done this a uh, 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 committed this a uh, greatest crime the next thing is for you to say that you want to suspend that and you'll be coming out and telling you telling us that you want to uh, reintegrate them back into the society that they have repented where where does that happen and you expect the masses to be happy they can't be happy with you because they believe that there's this synergy between you and them and again if they don't reintegrate them back to the society they will recruit them back into the army a lot of some of the armies, about 300 and something, they are they are leaving the army. But uh, the Nigerian army is telling us that no, that is not the case. That it is a usual thing that most times like that, those who are due for retirement, they always come out to you know from time to time they do that and they 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 they, they go. So it is it's not it is not as a result of uh, trying to say oh maybe a lot of them a lot of the soldiers are tired that they don't want to continue. That's why they are resigning or leaving vol uh, voluntarily. But the, they are telling us that that is not the issue. But if that is not the issue, of course, everybody will be able to link one or two things together and say, oh, this could be this. And a lot of people have been advising them that since uh, the leadership of the army is not ready to do the right thing, then why wasting your time? Why wasting your, uh, uh, your precious lives to people who do not care about you? <clears throat> Now, since you have gotten the wife, then go after the husband. That is what somebody is advising the Nigeria army. Abio, my brother, since they don't get a wife, then we still can't remain. Let them go straight up after the husband. Hmm. This is cock and bull story. Anyway, we all know Nigeria army is acting based on scripts given to them. They may keep killing different Shikau's wives till we come to the next 20 so we come to meet next 20 years. Who is the owner of this Eboko people? One of his wives. Hmm. It's time for soldiers to go after the husband, Shikau, not what to be among the living. Okay. I mean, Yobe, you people are giving Boko rehabilitation. Why killing woman? Hey. Can you imagine? Okay. Maybe the woman is, uh, is not ready to repent or is not ready to... <laughs> It's not, it's not a repentant a, a, a book member. So maybe that's why it's not being given. She's not being given or she's not being rehabilitated. Okay, is the wife the problem? Why must uh, they kill her? Or why must they kill the wife instead of the main person? Okay, man, try and read this again. They said she was representing her husband on the meeting and they were bombed by the Air Force. Okay, same story. Who killed him? <laughs> story upon story upon story. So the woman has been representing her, eh? really, like seriously, she's been representing the man, and now he, she's been taken down. And where is the man himself sending the wife to be representing him? You know, these are the people they call the same, the so-called terrorists that they, they will be hiding. You see how we, we deceive ourselves in this country. The people who are going on their own, they are doing their asking you for good governance, you say no, they are the ones that you are going to be targeting. But the ones that are really causing pain in, in, in the lives of people, no, those are the people you'll be pampering. You will tell us that they've repented. The next thing, you will request them back into the uh, uh, system or the society and you expect people to clap for you. What have you done? You persuade them, you do this, this and that. I think uh, I always say that the problem of these uh, Buko people, that the, the government is not tackling it's because people wonder why is it that for the past 11 years, these people have not been able to cross, they've not been able to cross, uh, what is it called, the north to come to the south to recruit people. Why is it that it's only in that area for the past 11 years? Because it, initially people were like, oh, yes, yeah, so they will still come to all those uh, southern parts of the country. But that shows that 
there's a fundamental issue or problem that they need to tackle this issue of uh, education they need to you know they declare it an in you know, a state of emergency the issue of a uh, 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 poverty those are the things by the time you do all of those things to a very large extent it will be minimized because when people are not getting the right education the anyone that is available they will embrace it they will definitely embrace it so it's uh, just leaving uh, the main thing and pursuing shadows it won't work it will work. So, guys, I don't know what you think about what uh, the army is co- uh, trying to tell us now that uh, the, uh, the Nigerian army reportedly killed Abubakar Shikawu's wife recently. Leave your comment below and let's have your take.